Hi, somebody asked for morning dew, so I'm gonna just give you some thoughts on it. So it has this, you know, kind of build, this first. That D. Okay, so this first thing is the drive through D, and we're walking up to the G C, and then we're hitting the um, the fourth string and the fifth string, you know, within the C. So it's I'm hitting it here with a pinky. Generally, when I play it, I go I just flatten out the the, the C, so I'm getting that note. But you could do it with a pinky. You could go. Give the pinky and then so that's hammering on to the G. You know, pull off from the second fret to nothing on to open on the uh, fifth string and then the fourth string and then so that's you can actually just do it open. That's the three two on the two string. So here's the whole thing so far. And then we have this. So this is on the fifth fret, five, seven, five, five, seven, five. So we're going from the fifth string, from the fourth string to the third string. But it's I'm, I'm making it sound Lenten. That's uh, after a bunch of these, you go just a hammer on on the seventh, right on the fourth string, and then and then you slide it, get the second fret on the fourth. Open. So again, so far you I'm gonna do it fast. Okay, so here's this that's the the the, the third string note we already have from the D. Open. So two open four, four to two on the fourth string. Open C. So it's, and then I'm going. So again, we're just going right up the C. So I'm not. I you could I could just go. Lifting that finger, then I'm gonna call it the, the string I'm hitting. Five, four, four, three, four. So, there's the G, and then. Now, it does that whole thing again, okay? This, this is the intro only. It never does this ever again from the intro. So it does the whole thing twice. It goes.
singing. Walk me out in the morning dew. Uh, honey, so it's D, C, G, D. Interestingly enough, this is the same uh, pattern and notes, basically, as I Know You Rider. I did fast. Same thing for morning dew, just incredibly slow. So So you know when you're going slow you need a little little flourish. Thought I heard a young man moan today. So those flourishes are, we have this D, walk me out to the C. That's kind of a nice one. So that's this, this for the C and for the G are the same thing, but then we're kind of, instead of going, we're reversing to go back to the D. That's one of the nice, simple ones, this. So that's an open on the fifth to the C, you know, the third, third fret. To the second fret on the fourth string. Thought I heard a baby. thing I did this was I did this I'm just gonna get to the end of the phrase so I can show you how it fits okay so this is open on the high E string and then three one on the second string Last note being on the third string, second fret. So, if we're going into that F section, that's where you end up. You could actually throw that in. You know, between the D, first D and the second D C G part. Or you can use it to go into the F. So it's that's a a ham an open and then a hammer on then off on the second string first fret and then uh, two and then off on the third string. So, last D at the end of the verse, it has one of these. It can 
catch the verse, you know. Okay, now, uh, that, when you get to the part of the walk-up, you know, this... Guess it doesn't matter. So this is a the D chord, right? So we're starting on the bass note here. We're walking up. And then we get into the solo. Now, uh, Bob has this line. little, you know, here's your D chord. He inverts it to have this. Just little nice inversions of chords. But basically it's, you know, for, for the Bob part, it's gonna be the D. Now, by the way, if you look at this G on the 12th fret and this E minor here, the, the reason that G and E minor work so well interchangeably is because 90% of E minor is these notes in a G here. So in I Know You Ride, you have, Ooh, I'm gonna miss me when I'm gonna pretend that's the second verse. Miss your baby rolling goes right to the G there instead of the E minor in uh, Morning Do It's F, C, E minor. Let me show you what that sounds like if I do the G. That's why they're kind of so close, is that they're, they're a lot of the same notes are in the E minor and the G. Okay, so we have that walk up. And then some kind of lead on D. So if you're not a good lead player and don't have a lot going on, Look at your chord here. Here's your D, and you have all these. And then two the frets below it, that's the C. And then here's the, the two notes of the G, and here's a G, so I'm just looking where my fingers are. D, C, G, and then we're back to the bass line of the, of the original D. So you can have this, if you just look at these, three strings, four, five, uh, five, four, three, you have this. So you can do a lot with that. That kind of thing. So just, there's, there's a lot more to be said about that. So then, you get to the end of the song, and you're like, you know. Okay, that, I realized I never said it. That's just a D, and you're throwing the pinky onto the third. So it's a dry. It doesn't matter anyway. Guess it 
doesn't matter anyway. Starts off always very gentle. What's kind of nice is when you you can walk walk up to the F from the D C E minor D See that had that kind of nice walk. on this D. It's just stuff that's available above that D. Okay, so here's a C, a high C. You know, here you have your D, E, F, G, A, E, C in the D form. So here I went from I went from D then went here's the F. I'm still holding a pinky just add a little and then I went that's your this is your C form. So I went from this note in the F. There's your C. And then there's my E minor. And then hit a D again. So anyway, you're finding partials in the thing. Then at some point, it starts speeding up. Now this pinky right here, That's, that's a pull off on the um, second string, third fret. And you're going to keep that for the F and the C we're going to go. That's probably enough to be said on an acoustic morning do. Hopefully that gives somebody something. I can do a longer one on the uh, N-Jam on electric sometime, but this will just get you started.